You just woke up. <laughs> You're so tired. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a sit-on video after what feels like ages. Today I'm joined by a special little guest here. Um, it's more like I am the guest in today's video because today's video is all about Levi's toys and gifts that he got over Christmas. Yes, baby, it's all about yours. And we are matching. I love how we are matching with this one. This says baby bear and mine says mama bear. I've already dirtied mine and he hasn't dirtied his because he hasn't had his lunch as yet. So Levi is going to be sitting with me while I talk you through the Christmas gifts that he has received. This is Levi's first Christmas. He is eight and a half months old now. A bit of a disclaimer, I'm very appreciative and grateful for all of the gifts that Levi received. It's from our friends and family from everywhere, Bristol, Glasgow. And um, we didn't buy anything for him. Do you want to come and sit with mommy here? You want to sit in my lap? You want to stand with me? All right, there you go. You prefer to stand, don't you? <laughs> Um, Lakshman and I didn't buy him any Christmas gifts whatsoever. It's all from our friends and family. And we are very appreciative and grateful for all of the gifts that he has received. Since it's his first Christmas and since this is the first time our family and friends have seen him in Glasgow, everyone wanted to get something for him and they ended up getting a lot of things for him. If you see behind me, there are two paper bags, huge full of gifts and it's already ripping off okay I couldn't fit everything and we couldn't even stuff everything in the car but yeah those are all of his gifts and he's been waiting to open it now um while I open everything he's gonna be super excited that's why I have him with me yeah so I just wanted to share it with you because I found it difficult to try and get appropriate gifts for Levi, as in gifts meaning toys and clothes, you know, I always struggle to get that for either for Levi or some of our friends' children, so I thought that some of the gifts that Levi got were very creative and very useful, so I thought it would be a good idea to share it with you too, so that you find it useful. You have a bubble, there you go, this is yours. You had one. <laughs> He's so excited with these baubles. After all of his toys piled up by my side here, and I'm going to randomly pick everything and talk you through it, okay? So the first one are these baubles. Um, it came as three clear baubles. It's a kind that you can open up, and then you can put pictures or toys or something else inside. So with this one, there are some pictures inside. It's a photo shoot that we did in Glasgow when we first went. And it's really nice. It's, you know, nice for keepsake and stuff. You can change pictures. You can change stuff that you put in here. For older babies and toddlers, you could possibly put in some uh, candy, sweeties, or, you know, stocking filler sort of toys or whatever it is. Daddy and Levi have already cracked one of it. I don't know which one, but it's quite sturdy because they've dropped it down quite a lot of times. And then another bobble here. This one is handmade and it's got L for Levi on there. So that was another cute one for him for his first Christmas. And these ones are out here. This comes in a set of three. We've already opened these while we were in Glasgow and he loves it. The only annoying thing I find about it is it doesn't have on and off button, but as and when you click on it, it makes a lot of noises. It's really useful for him because he loves pressing things now. He likes to look at everything lighting up and he just likes pressing it. So he likes that music and stuff and it's really fun for him. Because it's so small, it's quite handy to carry along with us while we are traveling anywhere to put in his changing bag or, you know, to keep it in the car. The next one is this personalized door sign. It's got a dinosaur and it says Levi. It's a wooden one and it's got this thing that you can hang by the door. It's high time we actually converted the nursery to his room so that we can hang this on the door for him. Do you want this again? Yeah. You can have that. The next is a shape sorter. This one is from Tiny Love. It's got one, two, three, four different shapes. It's quite multifunctional, okay? It says two in one, but I don't know what the two in one is. 
you can open the box up. For, oh, you can open it, flatten it out, and then you've got this different design in here that you can play with. There's a mirror also, and you've got all of these shapes. Each one comes with different noises and sounds. He likes this a lot. This is his current favorite at the moment. Every time we give him a shape, he would need to lick it first and then he'll put it in. He's obviously not able to find the right shape. What we would normally do is we give him one and then we give him the right shape and we tell him or teach him to put it in and he'll follow it and he'll put it in. He always needs to lick it first, bite it first and then he'll put it in. But yeah, he enjoys playing with that. The next one is this thing. Linky Mouse. I've heard a lot about it. We haven't used it yet, but I've seen so many recommendations on YouTube. Apparently, babies like this so much. So far, Levi has not been very fond of it when we tried using it. We didn't take it out from the boxes yet, but we tried making noises. He's okay with it now. So when you press something, it's got stuff hey, that you can press. Watch up. And it talks and it lights up. Uh, okay, no. No. <laughs> we'll put that away for now. Okay. The next one is a sack. A Santa sack. This one is personalized as well. It's got L on it for Levi. Very soft and nice. It came with a few gifts in there, okay? So it's like a nice sack. Uh, something that you can keep for a long time. Reuse it every year. Very helpful. Very handy. We are going to put that away. Next one. Did you want this? Do you want to play with this? you want to see what this is? He's been so excited to see it. It's very exciting, isn't it? Shall we, shall we show them what it is first and then I'll let you play with it? It's got a remote, a car key and what was the other one? A phone. Um, it's just got all of those buttons and stuff that kids like pressing and playing. Most of it are battery operated, okay? I'm not very fond of the fact that it's all battery operated, but it is. But these are the things that kids like these days. Oh, you are putting that away for mommy. Thank you. Did you want one of these things then? The next one is a sensory roller. This is the inflatable kind. I haven't even opened it as yet. But it's got a rattle inside and it's a sensory roller bolster sort of a thing. Leva has one of these things but not inflatable. His is like a proper bolster which I've put away because he hardly ever uses it now. And I need to get this out. You can use this for multiple different purposes I think. It helps with sensory, it helps with imagination and motor skills also. I think it helps them roll and move and it helps with tummy time a lot. That's that. And this one is a penguin. It's for the bathtub. I am very excited for this. I really want to put this here. You can see it too. He wants to see everything. <laughs> you fix it to the side of your bathtub and you know kids get to play with it uh, while they're in their bath. The next is a set of cars. This is 18 months plus because of some of the pieces, like look at this one. It's got sharp pieces and stuff, so you have to be very, very careful if you want to give this to younger children. Like this ambulance is perfectly alright because it doesn't have any sharp parts whatsoever. But it's a very cute set. It is cute, isn't it? The next one is a book. Uh, this is the one where it talks. As you press a button, and then it's got a lot of stuff on each page. And the next one, another shape sorter. This is a bus with multiple different shapes in it. I have a feeling this is going to be another favorite of his. There are so many shape sorters. The next is my first Christmas. It's quite heavy because I have quite a lot of books in there. You can open it up and there are nine hard cardboard books. Yeah. 
Yeah. See, let me take one of this. You want this? Okay. Let's look at it together, okay? This one says feelings and it's excited. What is this? Happy, sad. So there are so many different feelings in there. Do you want to have a look at it? Because it's cardboard ones. It's um, not cardboard. It's like the wooden kind. The hardcover kind. Babies can bite it, chew it. They can do whatever they want to and it doesn't spoil it. Very Christmassy theme, but also can be used throughout the year. A friend of mine recommended this book and they said this was really, really sweet. It indeed is a very, very sweet book. It's called Ten Little Fingers and Ten Little Toes. It's got a story in here. It's very nice to read to babies. And Levi loves looking at the pictures also. And this one is On the Farm. This is the one that you can flip things and move. Look, if it's a shape, you can move this around. And he's got one more toy behind me. This is definitely going to be another favorite for him because he can hold stuff and he can bite it. Um, and this one behind here is crinkly. He likes the existing one that he has. It's like a newspaper, a coffee cup and something else that he had. I forgot what it was. But this one's from Fisher Price. It's got all of these stuff. I'm not able to open any of these things because I haven't got a scissors next to me now and he wants something else because he's looking at all of these new things. Um, books and he's got two teddy bears. That's one and that's another teddy bear. He's not very fond of teddy bears yet. I think he doesn't like the furry stuff. Do you want the teddy bear? He kind of moves away when he sees the teddy bear. All right, we'll put the teddy bear away, okay? And I've got two other big stuff behind me that I haven't showed you yet. This one is a drum kit. This is 18 months plus because of the pieces in it. It's like an entire music instrument kit. This is like a huge drum kit and it's on rollers so you can wheel it around. 18 month old baby can wheel it around with this handle. And it's got a few other toys in there. Let me show you the label so you can see what else you have in it. There you go. That's what you have. You have so many different music instruments in there. If I want to give it to Levi now, I have to be very careful with what I give to him. I can't give him everything. And the last one, the last toy behind me is a walker. This is two in one. It's a walker and um, convertible tray. It's like a convertible play tray that he can use now. It says 12 months plus, but he can use bits and pieces now anyway. Those are all the toys. Let me try and get something else for Levi and then I'll show you the clothes. The clothes is over here behind me. A lot of clothes. Okay, let's start off with the clothes. Again, it's all piled up. It's all of different sizes and in most of the clothes that our friends and family gave us were much bigger sizes for Levi. It's not something that he can wear now. Which also makes sense because sometimes you don't know how big your baby is. Sometimes they're much smaller or bigger. But Levi is a little bit petite. So he's still wearing slightly smaller clothes. Not necessarily 6 to 9. Um, he's 8.5 months now. So not all of his clothes are 6 to 9 months yet. He's still wearing 3 to 6 months and things like that, you know. So let me just show you the clothes now, okay? First one is just jumper. Winter appropriate. This is four to six months from H&M. H&M's clothes are um, always running a tad big, bigger than the usual size. So that would come in handy for him now. The next is this jumper set. It's so soft and nice. It says wild, wild dude. It's really warm as well. It looks like it's going to be really warm, but the pants is a bit too big for him. So I think I might need to keep it for slightly longer. And this one is from a River Island. This is a jumper set. It's kind of grayish tone with a white short sleeve t-shirt to wear inside. And then, what do we have here? Ah, uh, we have quite a few jumpers. This is like a red jumper with a hoodie. This is a blue jumper with a hoodie. You can never go wrong with jumpers. These are all from Matalan and there was another jumper also, I can't find it. This is another set. 
set of t-shirt and pants with a tiny pocket in there and this is a throw this is like a blanket it's really nice and it's very cute I like that lion on it uh, you can either use it it, Levi is too young for blankets, okay? It's not advisable to use any blankets for babies who are <sighs> younger than two years, maybe. It's only advisable to use it like after they're two years old so that, you know, you avoid any suffocation whatsoever, those kind of risks. <sighs> but you can use it as a throw in a pram, those kind of things. And then this one was also part of a set, but I can't find the t-shirt at the moment. It's pants, it's like a corduroy pants, navy blue. Uh, and this is another jumper set with t-shirts and grey colour. This one, it looks as if it's long, um, like long pants, but it's not, it's just shorts. This is a t-shirt, very handy. Another t-shirt, that's another striped t-shirt with shorts. So these ones will come in handy over uh, summertime. I was going to say next year, but we are already into the new year. It's the 2nd of January while I'm filming this. And this is like another formal one piece thing. Very handy because it's got poppers at the bottom for nappy changing. Levi has got one like this while he was younger, I think zero to three months old, and I've had to put all of those away. This is a jumper, thick and warm, again, very useful for later on. And this is another somewhat formal set. It's a shirt with a vest and it comes with shorts. A very cute one, and it's got a bow tie as well. Um... This is another shirt and short set for summer, for spring and summer. Um, another dungaree style. Did I say jumper for one of those earlier ones? No, it's not a jumper, it's a dungaree style. This is velvet and it looks like it's corduroy. But it's very soft and nice and it's got a long sleeve t-shirt inside. Is this a bodysuit? Let me check. Yes, it is a bodysuit. Oh. This is another jumper. This is a formal set with a long sleeve shirt, vest uh. and the long sleeve pants and a bow tie. Levi's got quite a few with bow ties now, but I've not been able to put on a bow tie for him at this age because it's too tight for him. He doesn't like it or he will be chewing it. This is a romper kind from Levi. It's got a hoodie and it's quite big for him now, obviously, but it'll be nice when he's walking and running about a little bit. He's also got another one from Ralph Lauren. It's a shirt. It looks really nice. I'll insert a picture if I can find it. We are in the midst of exchanging size. The one that we got was nine months old. I wanted a slightly bigger one. Yeah, you wanted a bigger one too, didn't you? It's getting very warm these days. Does it make sense to buy a Ralph Lauren shirt for a nine month old when you can only wear it for a month or two maximum? So um, I want um, an 18 month one and I'm waiting for that to come through. Uh, and the last one is this set that we got. It's like um, a bodysuit with um, a cardigan type. And this coat is really thick and nice. I haven't got any coats for Levi and I think this will be really good for him. And this one here, shall we show this to them, Levi? One minute, okay? All right, you are sat there. This one is so thick and soft, it's more like a pram suit sort of a thing. And it's got a pram picture in front also. It's like a pram suit, so he will stay warm while he, he is in his pram. Because pram is like more open, you know. So I'm going to go now and feed him. Uh, it's time for his lunch and he's bored sitting here for such a long time. I will see you again in the next one, whenever that is, and whatever the next video is going to be. My channel has now turned into Levi's channel because he or one of his things are in all of my videos these days and I'm just a guest. Uh, so we'll see what happens next. Do you want to say bye?
Oh. Bye bye. See you again next week. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>